Hey guys, I'm Luca and today I want to show you my bike setup for my last trip when I cycled from Spain to Turkey. So I'm gonna walk you through it and afterwards I will show you what's inside my bags. The bike by itself, it's a Mason Boca 3.0. It is a gravel bike, but I still cycled a lot on uh, road surfaces. It handles pretty well, it's pretty fast rolling. I covered almost 3000 kilometers with this bike or a bit more, but yeah. Beautiful bike, beautiful to look at it, and so now I will show you more in detail. Let's start with my drivetrain. It's Shimano GIX 800 on a 12 speed 40T chain ring. Pretty solid. I did lots of climbing with it, and yeah, I'm super happy about it. Here I got some Pathfinder Pro tires, it's on a 738C. I just recently changed them for my race in Indonesia. As you can see, the profile is pretty good for gravel and road. That was quite important for my recent trip. I hunt uh, four season rims, pretty solid. Nothing really happened. I had one accident in France, but um, it's all good. Super Zero TT Aero Bars on my Ridgely Gravel handlebar. They are quite short, so as you can see, if, my pl if I place my arm correctly, they're way too short, but it still helped me to have some different or more positions while I'm cycling. XTR uh, pedals, exposure rear light and exposure front light, pretty solid. I have to say, I usually don't cycle during the night, but on my last race in Indonesia, it was very, very helpful and necessary to get some good lights on the bike. Um, that's pretty much it. If you have more specific questions just about the bike by itself just write a comment and i will answer as soon as possible um, let's talk about what's inside my bags as you probably already saw my bike is fully equipped with telfin bags i pack telfin bag it's mostly filled with my sleeping gear top tube bag a frame bag and two fork bags and um, now I will show you what's inside my bags. I start in the front with my right fork pack. So basically I use my fork bags for my clothes and this one is filled with my race kit. I really don't need much clothes, but since my plan was to cycle from Spain to Turkey and afterwards join my first ultra distance race, I had to bring some race kits. So yeah, now I will show you. Right here I got a top of the brand Universal Colors. Cargo bit short of the brand Albion, Universal Colors West, Universal Color um, Jersey, Albion Jersey, Albion Hydration Vest, or let's say Cargo Vest because it is pretty versatile. You can have so much in it, like it's crazy. I packed it full and it's still comfortable on the back, of course. With a vest, you are sweating a lot on your back, but still very, very useful. The cool um, ultralight jacket of the brand Albion. It's uh, ultralight, it packs very, very small, and especially in the morning hours, it is essential to have such a nice jacket, and it keeps you very, very warm. Gravel short, it has two um, zip pockets on the side. It's of the brand Burton. And that's already it for the first fork pack. The left fork pack, Burton rain jacket. Uh, it packs very little, it's ultra light and super comfortable. I lost my wrap rain jacket in France on this trip, so when I arrived in Austria, Burton provided me some good gear. One normal cotton shirt, already pretty much. Uh, sun bleached <laughs> dickies pant i cut them so they were a nice length for cycling super comfortable the buff and another short it's um, also of the brand burton it has just two normal pockets still a zipper pocket here on the back super super comfortable it doesn't have a inner net that's um, not so nice but uh, still great pant great short socks and another bib short also of the brand uh, universal colors and that's already it guys 
Yeah, let's continue with my top tube bag. Plug right here. Uh, C to Summit pillow. My Psych Plus e palm. It's the model AS2 Pro. First, I was a bit unsure what to think about it, but to be honest, after almost 4,000 kilometers, it's just completely a game changer. I really love it. If you are interested in, check the description. I will put in a discount code and yeah, check it out. The mini lock right here to feel a bit more secure in case I will go uh, inside the supermarket and want to secure my bike. I got some um, screws here, my tubeless repair kit and some balm. Like really nothing special, nothing, nothing fancy. Just some basic things that you might want to have while bikepacking. This is the Garmin 1040 Solar. It's um, an amazing GPS device. I had before the 830 Garmin, but this one is really amazing. It's uh, solar, so it charges up by itself as soon as the sun is shining. I recently had my first bikepacking race and I didn't have to charge it for three days. So it's really like a good investment right here. I have a mount for my Instra C60. I still have to figure out uh, a better way to mount my um, 360 cam. I would like to have like an additional adapter right here so I can stick it up. Now I got this solution. It's nice, but it doesn't give me the right angle that I'm looking for. Let's continue with the frame bag. In my frame bag, I have one power bank of the brand Anchor with 20,000 milliampere, another power bank of the brand Recharge GP, also 20,000 milliampere. Since I don't have a Dynamo hub, I still have to charge my devices with power banks, but so far I never had any problems. Even if you are in pretty remote areas for let's say four or five days, you can still find sometimes a restaurant or so, so you can always recharge your devices. But uh, for the future, I would definitely change for a Dynamo hub. It's just a bit uh, easier. A headlamp of also of the brand um, Exposure Lights. Toothbrush, uh, hot patches in case you got some uh, pain in the shoulder or knee. It's really useful. I just found them now in Indonesia and I really, really love them some uh, arm warmers or let's say some protection brand toothpaste body spray i actually never use it but when i use it i'm quite happy because it just smells amazing razor of my tent the um, tent poles to put in the ground i have no idea how to call them but you know what i mean <laughs> in this little bag are all my tools chain loop tire levers a multi-tool uh, cable tires some um, sealant, my derailleur hanger, spare derailleur hanger, and a repair kit for my tubeless setup. So all what you can see here is in my um, Aero pack. It's my C2 Summit Ether XT sleeping bed pad. It's um, pretty comfortable. Uh, ultra lightweight and always keeps me comfy and cozy. Then here the C2 Summit um, sleeping bag. It's a Spark SP. It's really, really overpowered for the summer, but uh, I just like to have it in case it gets cold or I don't know. I never really know what's next, so it's always good to have a warm sleeping bag. Tent, it's a big Agnes um, Tiger Wall Ultra Light 1 solid tent it's not completely freestanding so i might uh, change to another tent in the near future but on this trip i slept many nights in my tent and uh, yeah it was really solid i um, still have to show you my shoes that i was wearing pretty dirty at the moment but um, yeah nice shoes those um, are the croc shoes it's the model grand tourer um, i wear them in a size 43 but as you maybe can see i uh, took out the insole because the shoe was just way too tight for me so i definitely recommend to size up if you want to try out those shoes um, also i feel like it really depends what kind of bikepacking you're planning to do 
to be honest with those shoes i would not um, recommend to do lots of hike and bike sections they are quite comfortable but i will definitely prefer other shoes when it comes to hike and bike sections or in general rougher terrain um, i might will add a picture right here of my shoes that i used recently of the brand shimano and those shoes they are really not that light but guys you can really hike with those shoes you can go to the supermarket you can do everything with those shoes um, so i think i might uh, swap again for my old pair i still want to show you two last things it's um it's my hip bag of the brand item packs it's actually the last thing on this current setup what i used for almost two years now so it's this little eight and pack hip bag. It's just amazing to um, storage important things like passport or maybe even your phone. Um, it definitely has seen better days, but it's just a really nice bag. Last but not least, we can talk about my camera gear setup. I have a Insta360 camera, the X4 and also sometimes i still carry my gopro but it's getting less because usually you can just film everything with your phone uh, that's what i'm doing also right now i film with my iphone 14 pro uh, pretty easy going i mean it's getting a bit older now so i might swap for a new phone soon if you have any more questions or in general you want to know uh, certain specific things this lizard is really the whole time next to me <laughs> Uh, just let me know. I'm really happy to answer all your questions. Um, if I missed something, also let me know. But I think I covered pretty much everything. All right. Talk to you soon.